What's going on YouTube? It's been a while, but I'm back. Had a few things happen over the last few weeks and really months. Um, but I do want to catch you guys up in this video. As you can see out in front of you, we have uh, the U.S. General Harbor Freight uh, full bank toolbox uh, in a black and black colorway. I actually picked this thing up um, shoot, uh, during the last, last year's Labor Day sale. Uh, I think it was $100 off, uh, bringing the total MSRP down from $599 to, to $499. And uh, I have nothing but positive, you know, I, I can't give anything but a positive recommendation on this thing. But, uh, you know, one thing I didn't realize was, you know, if you're actually in the market to buy one of these boxes, I would highly recommend that you have an extra person to help you unload it when you get it home because it is very heavy and some of it does come pre-assembled, but uh, for the most part, you're going to need somebody to either unload it out of the back of your truck or SUV. Um, and obviously, there's no wheels when you get it. It's just a giant box. So uh, definitely have you know extra person on hand, maybe even uh, three people total. Um, you know, but just some quick thoughts on the box since I've had it. Uh, and mind you, this is my first toolbox and I'm by no means a working professional in the automotive space. Uh, but after around nine months of ownership, I have really no complaints at all. And uh, I really, again, only have positive things to say about this box. Uh, I have this thing packed to the brim with everything automotive related, as you'll see later uh, in the video. Uh, the drawers have been great. Uh, the top lid is super easy to open. And, um, you know, if you haven't already, please take this moment to comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, I do look forward to making more types of these videos. Um, in addition to my tool pickups, now that I'm finally settled, um, all the tools I have in the box have been purchased by me. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's cover what's on the outside of the box and then I'll get into what's in the top drawer as well as in all the drawers below it. On the left side of my box, I always keep a microfiber tile. Uh, you never know when you need a, a quick cleanup for anything, a quick wipe down. That is always helpful. Um, below that, we just have a magnetic uh, glove holder, uh, just nitro gloves from, again, Harbor Freight. And then finally, we have the folding side tray. Super handy to have uh, just because... Again, I have this thing filled up, so this extra space really allows me to put extra parts, bolts, nuts, fasteners, uh, tools, um, anything that is needed. Uh, this helps a whole lot, and it feels pretty sturdy too once it's all set up. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it's been great. Right side of the box, we just have a really small magnetic tray, as well as a, a bigger one over here, with a little catch-all hood. Um, and obviously you have the, the push and pull handle on the right. So nothing too crazy on the right side of the box here. So here's my top drawer. I keep my, my most used tools stored here. Uh, this includes my ratchets in all sizes, both fixed and flex head. Uh, I have every regular size, so quarter inch, three eighths to a half. Um, all of my metric, so uh, all of my sockets are metric. Uh, I really, I only own Toyotas um, right now, so this this is what is going to serve me well. Um, and if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll link it somewhere, but mainly uh, my Akon Tool Hall has really replaced my old Craftsman set, and uh, you'll see a recurring theme here uh, if you haven't already seen that video. But again, I'll, I'll, link, I'll link it to both, but um, you're going to see a lot of Icon in here. Uh, and mind you, again, just a reminder, I'm not, a, I'm not in the professional automotive mechanic space. I do not use this, any of this stuff to make myself any money. It's all just for my own personal use here in my own garage. Uh, but nonetheless, let me just go through the ratchets again. So again, quarter inch, um, my three eighths, everything in a fixed and a flex head. Uh, and obviously my my half and my probably my most used tool is my Milwaukee electric ratchet this thing is an absolute beast saves you so much time and effort um, 
yeah, it's not going to break the bolts down, right? But uh, this will help you save time and effort, you know, as you loosen or tighten things. And it's so good. Uh, again, all my sockets are Icon. They're all metric. Um, everything is great. No complaints about them. Um, to the right of my sockets and my Harbor Freight organizers, I have just some... Um, Swivel, swivel sockets here, uh, quarter inch hex, uh, both three eighths and half. That just works with my um, impact driver. Uh, shoot, okay. All the way on the left, we had just have two types of zip ties, small and large. Um, and my my I didn't clean my toolbox prior to filming this video, so just bear with me. Uh, safety glasses always need that. We got a little. A uh, breaker bar here, three quarter inch breaker bar, really hefty. Got a half inch breaker bar, uh, tool panel clip remover. Got some plastic trim removers. We have a JIS screwdriver by Vessel. Again, Toyota. Uh, magnetic pickup tool. This thing will save your life. We have, this is kind of a, a specialty one, uh, Klein Tools um, reversible screwdriver. You can adjust the length uh, of the shaft to make it shorter or longer. Um, and you can flip it so that you have both your Phillips and your flat on the other side. But uh, this thing is super handy getting to places that are a tight fit or if you need some extra length to get somewhere. Um, you can go ahead and just do that. So I keep that on the left side of the box. Uh, Milwaukee Ingzol. And that's basically the left side of the box. Um, shoot, let's go back to the middle. We have, I have a tool review on this, but um, the Icon Spotlight, this thing is great. Uh, I got these really, they were cheap when I purchased them, but they work really well actually. Um, Sorry to blind you there, but uh, magnetic and you can actually position them down. Um, work lights, there's two of them in here, one and two. Uh, we got a tri-bit speaker. Got to have your Jimmy Jams when you're working. Um, continue with the lights here. We have a sofa and headlamp. This thing is great. It's comfortable to wear. The battery lasts a long time and you get the option of two beams, uh, wide and focused. So things awesome. Uh, we have a blue, um, UV light. If you're trying to detect oil leaks and or AC leaks, this is the thing you want to have, uh, touch up paint, um, to the, Oh, here we go. So this is actually charging, but this is probably my favorite work light. Uh, the icon, I don't know what you call it. It's, it's a flip light, but it's very bright. Uh, three way, you have your flood, your focused, and then your, your mini up top here. Uh, it folds, magnetic base, uh, the magnet's very strong. Um, and I've dropped this thing a few times and it has lasted. So, uh, the battery life is, is decent. It's not the best, but it's decent. Uh, so, which is why I always keep the plug down all the time, but get, it really does get the job done. Okay, um, over to the way right, we have a set of, the specialty set of 10 millimeter specific sockets. If you know anything about 10 millimeter sockets, you know damn well that these things are used all the time in basically 90% of your jobs. Um, especially on Japanese cars. So I have a whole bunch of different ones here, just in case something here doesn't work for me. And honestly, I just treat these as spares as well. Um, these aren't Icon. These are, I think, Pittsburgh or Pittsburgh Pro, one of them. Uh, nonetheless, lifetime warranty. Icon, for the most part, all of their hand tools are a lifetime warranty, which is also why I really appreciate uh, their products. Okay, moving to the right of the box, we have our set of just regular Pittsburgh pry bars, every size. Um, I believe 
I might have, I have two long ones. I think I, I at one time, I, I thought I misplaced my pry bars. So I ended up buying another set because they were so cheap and I ended up finding them, which is why you see a, a slew of them. Um, yeah, so, oh. Uh, to the very right, I have a very strong, one of my only snap-on items, um, but this carbon sort of soft pad, but with really strong magnets. This thing is really good. The holding strength on this thing is impeccable. Uh, just regular scissors, you know, just to cut things. Extra Milwaukee gloves here. Shoot, what else? Oh, uh, back here I have just um, a built-in it's not built in, but uh, it's 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 also magnetic. Uh, my outlet um, that I have plugged into the wall, which helps me charge all of my devices here. Um, but yeah, that's basically the top of my tool chest. Let me take you go ahead and take you guys down to my first drawer. And as you'll see, um, the way in which I order my drawers is the top is the most used, and then as you go down, you'll see that tools either become more specialized and or they're just used less and less on uh, whenever I have to work in my truck and whatnot. So let me reposition the camera and get you guys going on the insides of the box. Okay, starting with my first drawer, we have our impact sockets. We have uh, miscellaneous larger sockets here. Uh, everything from axle nut, crankshaft, bolt, uh, your O2 here. Um, spark plug socket, uh, and then these things are, yeah, crankshaft, uh, shoot, what else? Um, we have a ton of different Pittsburgh extensions. Uh, these are the swivel head kind, uh, half, three eighths, quarter inch. We, ha again, back to the impact stuff. We have the, the full extensions here, half, three eighths, uh, three eighths and a uh, half inch. Uh, socket head swivel um, adapters there. Uh, we have your 3 8 and then your half. Uh, these have been great. I have yet to break any of these things to have it swapped in for uh, a new uh, socket. Um, and I really, oh, shoot, I, I really just exclusively use uh, my 3 8 impact sockets uh, and I'll, I'll show you why because I have one of these things that honestly up until recently started using um, especially on my lug nuts this thing is an absolute beast this uh, 3 8 impact but yeah this thing gets used a ton um, everything from suspension work to breaking bolts down on the engine, um, as I mentioned before, breaking lug nuts. But yeah, 3 uh, it's, 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 it's it's such a convenient thing because I usually have my 3 8 sockets or uh, rat ratchets out to begin with anyway, so you know, it just falls right in line with that. Moving on to the second drawer. We, this is my wrench drawer. As you can see, uh, I have one set of sockets here. Uh, these are the Pittsburgh Pro uh, extractor sockets. I thankfully have never had to use these. Um, I mean, when you have to bust these out, you're, you essentially, whatever fastener or bolt you're, you're working on is basically a goner. So I'm glad I, I haven't had to use those. But yeah, circling back here, it's the wrench drawer. Uh, I have, at the top, just the long box in wrenches here. You have a fixed side on one side with um, kind of an offset head, as you can see. And then you have the uh, ratcheting side of it too. These aren't reversible, which is fine by me because um, I, I, I do appreciate the slim profile. So uh, below that we have the just a regular wrench set with the reversible ratcheting end. Um, I use these a lot for when I had to put in uh, my new suspension. 
Uh, this gets used a ton. Um, the 10 gets used a lot. Uh, so this thing has been through some wars. Um, it's pretty dirty, actually. And then we have the swivel head, long, box end, ratcheting, reversible uh, wrenches. These, this, this is such an underrated tool. And I know, like, oh, there, there's another manufacturer, I think Mountain makes them, that you, you can get them on, on Amazon. But, man, this thing has saved the day. Um, just being able to get into somewhere that's not easily accessible. Um, I remember using this thing on my fan bolts. There's not a ton of room between uh, the radiator and the fan, so definitely saved me a ton of time there. Um, a lot of stress and energy, so I uh, can't recommend any of this stuff enough. Uh, and again, lifetime warranty. Everything icon except for the Pittsburgh Pro bolt extractors there. We are third drawer here and you'll see it's a really a mixed bag of things. Uh, we'll just start with the screwdriver set. We have the mini icon screwdriver set here. Really, really great. Um, the regular automotive specific regular size uh, icon set. Um, both uh, Phillips as well as flat. Uh, you have your scraper and removal tools. Use this a few times, as well as this, believe it or not. Uh, moving on, we have a pick set, uh, the mini pick set from Harbor Freight. Uh, I can't say I'm too happy about this. It does feel um, really on the cheap side uh, in comparison to, I mean, really mainly because they sell an orange handle version of these, and I'm not sure that these are worth given the markup between the two and the margin that these are worth the extra money. But that just might just be me, right? Um, okay, uh, moving on. Oh, you know what? We have new addition to the box. Tighten, non-marring uh, scraper, as well as like a removal tool, which is really good. Uh, moving on to the wrenches. We have the Quinn flare nut wrenches. Really good for... Um, Changing out brake lines, uh, master cylinders, brake master cylinders. So I've used those. I've also used these to do that same job. Uh, these are uh, Sunex or Sunex uh, crow's foot set. Amazon. This is from Amazon. This is from Amazon. The rest is from Harbor Freight. And then finally we have our offset box end wrenches. And I use these to change out uh, suspensions, um, especially when you're dealing with the top hats. This is good to use. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, circling back to the screwdrivers, I use this thing a ton because the top of it, it has a magnetic tip, which is super helpful. Um, I don't know, you can't really tell, sorry. I don't have any loose fasteners to, to oh, actually, let me look. It is magnetic. So it does hold. Um, it, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to add or put back a screw that you took out and it's in kind of a uh, inconspicuous space where if you drop your screw, you might not ever get it again. So it being magnetized at the tip, I. Really do appreciate that. Um, fourth drawer, you're going to see torque wrenches in every size, quarter inch, three eighths, half, three quarters. You're wondering why I have a three quarter inch um, torque wrench. That's, um, I think this is rated for either 325 or 350 um, foot pounds. I really only use this once for uh, the, a, a crank bolt, crankshaft bolt, so I needed it. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's a critical and vital part to your engine, so just went ahead and made the investment. Uh, you'll see my pliers rack here. I have everything from 
your long reach, straight nose, sorry, straight nose, curved. Um, these are, I believe, icon actually. Yeah, these are icon. Um, icon. These are amazing. Uh, icon. These, oh wait, not these ones, but these are also icon. Uh, these ones, these are, and I have a separate video on these, but these are snap-on. Um, there is no Harbor Freight equivalent or icon equivalent, which is why I made the investment early. And I really do appreciate the quality of these things. Um, haven't let me down once. And I use these, if you're a Land Cruiser guy, uh, on the pes pesky heater hose. These came in handy a ton. The serrated edges there. Yep, can't get enough of these. So, And these are the mini version. I believe there's a larger version as well, but gets the job done. Moving on, hose pliers here. Um, we have a trim trim removal. I think these are by Lyle. These are great. Work really, really well. Uh, Husky channel locks. Home Depot special. Can't go wrong. Uh, I never ever want to use those or uh, use channel locks because you're usually going to ruin whatever you're going to grab a hold of. But, you know, if you do need to use it, then it's available. Quinn long reach pliers then we got a giant set of pliers here these are doyle um got these in the drawer uh icon allen set and then i honestly don't know what these are um or what sorry i know what they are but i, I don't know what that name is but i had to use these uh, to remove um, my buddy's tailgate cover to install a pop and lock. Uh, so yeah, that, that'll take the, the trim off, the plastic trim off there. Oh, and then that thing down there, that's uh, to pull camshaft and crankshaft seals. I think it's, I think it's by Lyle. Not sure, but I got this off of Amazon and it works really well. So you just get on, pull, use that as leverage pull and it comes right out. So I just kind of keep it there. But yeah, that, that's my fourth drawer. My fifth drawer is my tool set drawer. Uh, a few different things in here. We have our bolt type wheel puller. We have Two different sets of extractors here. Uh, one Icon, one regular Pittsburgh. I've actually had this set from Pittsburgh for a long time. I, I don't even know if it's still complete, but oh yeah, it is. oh I'm missing one little drill bit there, I think, or one uh, extractor, probably drill bit. But yeah, it works good. And obviously the more upgraded version, um, this thing has just a, a slew of different sizes here. It's been great. Um, yeah, moving on from the extractors, uh, this Lexavon case, this is all your, um, your hex, uh, sockets, super helpful. Icon tap and die set, uh, we have our Centec, uh, OBD2 code reader, hasn't let me down yet, it's been great. We have our oil wrenches, universal pair of these plastic ones. I'm not really a fan of the plastic ones, um, but they do work. And then we have uh, a regular uh, manual plier oil filter wrench right there. And then a bunch of these fluid line clamps, which are super helpful. Um, really a, a true bang for your buck uh, tool that you, you know, you can add to any tool set there. We have a fender cover. Always good to use when you remember to use it just to prevent scratches on your car. And then obviously we have um, probably my most used and beat up 
item in this drawer is the half inch lug nut uh, impact set um, yeah these are super beat up but I do think that I might or might not upgrade from these um, to get something that's a little bit more safe around the wheels I have some pretty expensive wheels on my my truck so uh, you know making an investment I think is key but these will do for the meantime but yeah this is definitely just my tool set drawer here finally we have our last drawer our sixth drawer and yes you are correct this is the the true catch-all miscellaneous drawer as I alluded to earlier um, the box is really assembled from top to bottom uh, in terms of uh, you know what gets used the most uh, in terms of a hierarchy so this is really just going to house all of my specialty tools so you can see there's a, a timing gun here hammers plastic hammer um, you have your icon uh, dead blow hammer there uh, extra gloves can't can't use enough gloves can't have enough gloves fuses another dead blow hammer under there some seal packing uh, shoot uh, brake cylinder bleed kit rubber strap wrenches uh, extra large screwdriver sandpaper you have uh, the lang this thing is legit uh, lang caliper um, brake caliper separator this is great uh, when you're doing brake jobs um, scrub uh, scour pad you got your tire patch kit c-clamp tie rod end remover there are a whole bunch down there uh, specialty tools um, more clip removal tools there uh, we have what is that a tire gauge pressure and yeah I mean this thing I just have a bunch of different specialty tools in here um, not reaching in here a whole ton but I am organized in the sense that I know what is in this drawer. Um, not necessarily where to find it, like I have to dig for it, but I know that if I need a specialty tool and if I do have it already, that it's gonna be in this drawer, so. That is my US General full bank tool cart from Harbor Freight. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions uh, and or give my thoughts on any specific tool that I have inside the box. Um, and you know, if, if you do want me to expand on anything, please leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll respond. Um, and listen, if you have a tool recommendation that you think I should add to my box and or could use, or you think that I'm missing, please drop that also as a comment down below. I'm always looking for, um, tool recos, um, just like you guys who tune into my own videos, right? Like I'm looking at tools, the, the latest, um, if it fits. Uh, my my profile right the the DIYer in your home garage I'm all for it as long as um, you know the price meets value makes sense so um, appreciate you guys for sticking around and again I'll have more future videos to come um, a, a bunch of other tools that I have that I do plan on reviewing with you all one thing I did forget to mention is Gotta have a cup holder. Got to. Okay. Till next time, guys. See you.